Item number, SCP-500. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-500 must be stored in a cool and dry place, away from bright light. SCP-500 is only allowed to be accessed by personnel with level 4 security clearance to prevent misapplication. Description SCP-500 is a small plastic can, which at the time of writing contains 47 red pills. One pill, when taken orally, effectively cures the subject of all diseases within two hours, exact time depending on the severity and amount of the subject's conditions. Despite extensive trials, all attempts at synthesizing more of what is thought to be the active ingredient of the pills have been unsuccessful. Note from Dr. Klein, SCP personnel below level 3 are now banned from handling SCP-500. This is not to be used to cure a hangover. Get AIDS and then ask permission. Request 51774K. Dr. 500022F has requested one SCP-500 pill for testing with SCP-38. Request has been approved. Request 51862B. Dr. Gears has requested one SCP-500 pill for testing in SCP-914. Request has been approved. Request 52354F. Dr. has requested one SCP-500 pill for testing with SCP-253. Request denied. Request 55667E. Dr. Gibbons has requested two pills of SCP-500 for his personal med kit. Request denied. Addendum 501. Two pills have been authorized for use with SCP-8. As a result of conducting a series of tests on Class D subjects infected with SCP-8, it appears that even in the most advanced stages of the disease, one whole pill will accomplish full recovery. Number of pills is 57 at the time of writing. Dr. 500-0021-D Addendum 502 One pill has been authorized for use with SCP-409. SCP-500 was tested on Subject 409-D5, who was exposed to the effects of SCP-409. Complete recovery accomplished. See Addendum 409-1. Number of pills is 56 at the time of writing. Dr. 500-0021-D Addendum 504 Request 51774-K approved. Five pills have been used in experimentation with SCP-38. It has been determined that SCP-38 is capable of duplicating SCP-500. However, the success of the duplicated pills is limited. The duplicated pills are only effective in curing the subject 30% of the time with chance of successful healing dropping as time since cloned increases. In 60% of the cases where the infection is permanent, symptoms of infection remain, though further infestation is neutralized. Repeated dosing with SCP-38 cloned pills is recommended for all personnel suffering from incurable conditions, as supply of SCP-500 remains extremely limited. All five used samples of SCP-500 were returned, Number of pills is 56 at the time of writing. Addendum 505 During experiments with SCP-38, one pill was stolen by personnel D to, reportedly, quote, cure a hangover, end quote. Stricter controls for samples of SCP-500 given to other projects is suggested. Personnel D it has been terminated. Number of pills is 55 at the time of writing. Addendum 506 One pill has been used with SCP-2314. Number of pills is 54 at the time of writing. Addendum 507 One pill has been used for Experiment 447A. Number of pills is 53 at the time of writing. Addendum 508 one pill has been used with SCP-208. Number of pills is 52 at the time of writing. Addendum 509. 
Request 51862B approved. One pill of SCP-500 is placed within SCP-914, with the setting at fine. Resulting object classified as SCP-427. Number of pills is 51 at the time of writing. Addendum 510. Five pills have been taken for the Olympia Project, although only two were used. The remaining three will be returned shortly. Upon return, number of pills will be 49. Addendum 511. Two pills have been used for Experiment 217. Number of pills is 47 at the time of writing. Addendum 512. Request to have SCP-500 investigated for mental compulsion leading to obsessive fixation denied for triviality. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-499, Old Sun Man, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.